Hey, what up? It's Don. Sammy Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers. Uh, we're back up in it, of course, as usual. We got another shoe in the cut. Thanks yep. to Locker Room Sports, the homie, the homie Connor, who is the plug. Connor Livingston. Uh, that fool stays. Picking us up. Hitting us with that product, which we yeah. appreciate. So we thought we'd do a video. Uh, Sammy got these. These are the lightest shoe of all time. These are like stupid comfortable. Like, no joke. Really comfortable. I don't wear other shoes besides Boost for casual wear, but this is he's a one Boost of, boy. He's I'm one of the boost. he's one of the Boost boys. Yeah, uh, I can't put anything on my foot. I like Jordans, uh, Converse, whatever it is. I can't put it on my foot. It's just not mm. comfortable. I don't like mm. it, you know. But anyways, uh, so this will be a casual slash performance like running review kind of. I did run in these also because this is a runner. Uh, but um, yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, the yeah, uh, it's it's like a free on the bottom, like the yeah. outsole. There's really no outsole. Like the black part I, is like a it's a harder type of foam, and then the white part is really soft. But uh, so it adds a little bit of durability, but uh, I don't think it'll be too durable. The outsole reminds me of those fucking finger shoes. Oh yeah, like the, the five toes. and five fingers. Yeah. we have to freaking do a dozen oh, basketball do with that. Those. I think those basketball. No. Because my foot basketball is dog. <laughs> I play barefoot sometimes. Okay. But yeah, there, there you go. Uh, moving on to the cushion. It doesn't say on here because uh, Under Armour usually writes what the cushion technology is. I thought it was charged, but it's not. Guess what it is? Oh, the micro G. It's full length. My this whole thing is micro G. You guys see how? Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. But um yes. It's full length micro G and it has a 40 uh, foam footbed, I guess, is what it's saying. Uh, molded 40 foam footbed. Conforms to your foot. Um, is that what this is? Yeah, see, but that's there's no insole. Though. It rolls right down and is one piece with the upper, which is kind of cool. Okay. Um, but yeah, the cushion you is... You see? You see what I'm saying? Yes. There's no separate insole. Yeah, but like, I'm, I'm just confused as to what the 4D foam is. It's four dimensional. Okay, all right. Um, and there is this stable thing to stabilize the cushion. Mm. I don't know why it's on this side. I think it should be on this side. Mm. But um, oh, but I guess it makes sense if you're a runner. Not it doesn't make sense if you're a basketball player. But anyways, uh, it's really soft, yet responsive. Um, you see how this part like kind of tapers up in the heel, like it helps with the um, the heel to toe transition, right? It makes it less clunky. Um, but I wish they would have put it down a little bit because I want to feel this part compress, mm -hmm. you know, just like boost. But uh, it, this is fine, and the four foot cushion, uh, I can I can actually feel uh, feel it. I really like how a uh, speed form makes makes it so that the shoes don't have insoles because I can feel the cushion more, you know, like right. in the Creed twos. Yeah. The two point five doesn't have speed form and it uh, has an insole in it, so I can't really feel the charge cushion as much. So I really like the setup, and the cushion is amazing. Mm -hmm. So uh, there you go. Definitely not as comfortable as Boost, so it like Boost compresses a lot more. Right. Okay. Um, okay. Now moving on to the materials. The materials is a, it says innovative UA speed form technology. Uh, it delivers zero distraction. It says it has armor vent mesh. So I guess it's speed form and armor vent mesh. I guess. Oh, that's really confusing. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's it's pretty pretty well ventilated. Ventilation is really good in the shoe. But also, if you guys can see, it's it conforms to your foot really well, very pliable, and it's super stretchy, you know? Um, and for a uh, running shoe, it's really comfortable because you don't really need a, a lot of lateral support in running shoes. So you can uh, leave the material really soft and stretchy, which I love about running shoes. And the materials are good. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. It's like, it doesn't feel like a jacker or a jacquard, it's nice. It feels like like a neoprene, uh -huh. almost. It has like a little squish to it. Yeah, but then it's not like a stretchy, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, it feels really good. Fit. Um, what 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 size is this? Seven and a half. Go through the size with these. And um, if you're a wide footer, uh, it doesn't fit super narrow. I think I think it's more of a uh, normal fit. So um, if you have a wide foot, I think you should go up half a size. Okay. 
So, um, and then there's this heal counter, which is really just, I don't even know why this is there. I guess it kind of yeah. helps. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So, um, overall, it's a uh, really comfortable shoe. I'm just, uh, right now, I'm just using it as a trainer or uh, just as like a gym shoe because uh, it's just so minimal. And that's what I love about this shoe. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's a no bullshit. It, it doesn't feel like I have anything on my foot. The materials are really nice and it's stupid light. Yeah. Like one of the lightest shoes that I have. Right, let's, okay. Let's freaking weigh this shit. Yeah, that shit, is, I don't know of a lighter shoe. 5.86. Whoa. 5.86 ounces. And uh, I think the only one that uh, is close to that is the Lunar Epics. Right. And where are those? I think it's like six ounces or wow. seven ounces, yeah. And those are crazy light too. Yeah, these are stupid light. Um, that's why I really like these. Mm -hmm. uh, the cushion, it doesn't compress as much, but it's still comfortable. Materials are amazing too. They're super soft and pliable. So, um, casually, check. I love them. Mm -hmm. um, I think they're better than like Freeze. Nice. You know, yeah, like Freeze. Yeah, I don't really like Freeze. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's, a, it's, it's a little bit more comfortable, you know? Mm -hmm. And then um, performance-wise, like running, I, um, I approved too. I did do some running in this and uh, I didn't mind it. You know, it was yeah. nice. All right, so that's it. That's my review on the UA Speedform Apollo Vent. Yeah. Um, go cop a pair. It's only 80 bucks on underarmor.com. Mm. It's on sale. Um, and it's actually, there's like no more sizes. Yeah, they must not have made that many. Or maybe it's just so good that it's so loud. Because no. I actually see a lot of these. Do you do? Yeah. Yeah, some a lot of people. Are the same it. people who buy Skechers buy those. Am I right? Am I right, Doug? <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> I'm not like, saying it's a bad shoe. This guy's I'm just a saying, hater right here. I'm just saying who's buying He's them. just mad because he didn't get a pair. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I uh, will see you guys in the next video. Later. Peace.